Hello and welcome to IU NewsNet Daily. I'm Peyton Meyer. And I'm Ashley Horner. Today we'll update you on Senate Bill 480 and a donation from former IU President McRobbie that will help future incoming students. And later, Ashley gives us an update on IU Athletics. NewsNet Daily begins now. A changing environment means new weather patterns and stronger storms, bringing a whole new meaning to spring showers. According to Risk Factor, a nonprofit tool used to measure a city's risk of flooding, if a low likelihood storm results in severe flooding, slightly over 1,000 properties could be damaged in Bloomington. The earth and atmosphere getting, is getting warmer, but nothing is new. As climate temperatures continue to increase, so does the amount of rainfall. According to IUPUI professor Gabriel Filippelli, flooding can lead to many in environmental issues. Climate change is not about just temperature, but it's also about moisture. So the atmosphere uh, tends to be a lot more, uh, uh, have a lot more water in it when it comes to major storms. We see that here in Indiana, our storms now are, uh, have gone up by about 15% in terms of our extreme precipitation events. The flooding and storm surge issues have become a big problem. Indiana House Rep representatives voted 65 to 30 to pass the Senate Bill 480 on Monday. The ACLU of Indiana was one of many oppositional voices. Along with 11 other states, Indiana's bill bans gender-affirming care for minors. If signed into law by Governor Eric Holcomb, transgender minors will lose access to gender-affirming care involving puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and surgical procedures specific to gender, gender transitioning. Physicians can still prescribe home hormone therapy until the end of the year for people already receiving therapy before July of 2023. The Bicycle and Pedestrian Safety Commission plans to reinstate 7th Street, signs at 7th Street stop signs at Dunn Street due to a large number of crashes. Back in 2021, the Seven Line Lane project expanded bike lanes and improved bus corridors to make the roads safer and more functional. According, according to the BPSC, 12 crashes took place at 7th Street and, and Dunn this year alone. The stops for east-west 7th Street traffic at Morton, Lincoln, Washington, and Grant continue to remain stop sign free. Former President Michael Ro McRobbie made a gift of $500,000 to IU in support of behavioral health at the IU Regional Academic Center this year. According to IU Health, IU Health matched the gift, bringing the total to $1 million. The donation aims to ex at expanding and upgrading peer counseling and other mental health services for 18 to 34-year-olds' clients. The two behavioral health center facilities located in IU Bloomington Hospital and Emergency Department will be named after the former First Lady and President McRobbie. The gift will be formally announced on April 17th at RAHC here in Bloomington. Turning to sports, we have Ashley to give us to give us up to speed on Hoosier athletics. That's right, Peyton. It's spring, and that means it's time to play some ball. Let's first talk softball. Indiana softball added another win to their already 15-game winning streak as they took on Butler yesterday afternoon. The Bulldogs were on an eight-game winning streak before coming into yesterday's game. Sophomore Taylor Minnick came out swinging as she sent both Cora Bassett and Tatum Hayes to home plate. The final score was 9-1. to one. Looking ahead, the Hoosiers will travel to arch-rival territory where they will play a doubleheader against Purdue on Sunday. This will be the 82nd game between the two teams, with IU trailing 40-41 to 41 in all-time wins, almost an equal record. Indiana needs only two more wins to tie their longest win streak in program history, and they could do it this Sunday. So now let's talk baseball. Indiana baseball is also on a 16 home game winning streak after last night's close game with Kent State. The win came from the defense as seven different pitchers took the mound, um, and of which four of them pitched scoreless outings. Later this week, Indiana will travel to Penn State to play in another Big Ten matchup. And if you're not a part of IU Athletics but are looking for something to rock your world, take a grab at indoor bouldering. No ropes, no experience, no worries. IU Outdoor Adventures bouldering wall is free for all now until fit 
until May 5th in Eigman Hall. Open year round, each wall allows beginners to, to experts to try their hand at different, different styles of rock climbing. Rather than climbing up to reach a certain height, participants follow different multicolored routes with a padded floor to, to catch any wrong move. There's a mental aspect to it, how you approach the problem, and then also just being very comfortable with, you know, with your body, with the rock, trying to improve yourself as a climber. So there's a lot of, I, I find it very intrinsically rewarding. One last thing before we go. This month, the Indianapolis Zoo announced the pregnancy of one of its tusked friends. Meet Zahara, the 16-year-old African elephant due in October. The calf will become the third generation in the zoo's herd. Having a multi-generation herd helps educate staff and visitors about elephant behavior. Like its mother, it was conceived through artificial insemination, a historic first in elephant research. I don't know about you, Ashley, but I'm really excited for this new calf to join the herd. Elephants are always my favorite thing to see at the zoo. Oh, yes, they're the best. However, I do prefer the giraffes. Understand. Like feeding them. All right, and that's a wrap for today's IU NewsNet Daily. Tune in for the latest updates on all Hoosier news and sports. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at IUNND. For Newsnet Daily, I'm Peyton Meyer. And I'm Ashley Horner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.